then the Ice Age ended. <laughs> that's what we call winter in Indiana. Anyway, that summer, everything changed. It was the summer my old man, my mother, and I each had great adventures. Are we ready? Are we ready? It, Where's this it doesn't work. <laughs> Hold on, here it is. Oh, there! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at that, oh my Whoa, goodness. that is... We're gonna have to look at that. Vivid. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, one and all. <laughs> he needs a little red nose, he could be a reindeer. The world's only virgin reindeer. We should make a new Christmas story for 90s kids. Cause it felt like every year there was like the gift. So it was like N64, Tickle Me Elmo, Beanie Babies. It was like, that was the item. N64. I'm gonna be playing Goldeneye and the only game they got was Superman 64. And that would be very sad. I remember we got an N64. My sister and I played it very little. I think we got Diddy Kong Racing and Banjo-Kazooie. Wah, wah. But dad has Goldeneye, but he keeps it locked up. What, what are the shenanigans the kids are getting up to in the 90s? Some sort of Beanie Baby fiasco. The potential investment value could be very good. Seymour was one of them. He's up to about 150 to 200 dollars right now. In the in the Christmas Fresh story too, there's a thing with the tops. Tops. That was weird. So maybe the 90s oh, version yeah, that of that is Pogs. Summer. Yeah, Wait. Pogs. Early remember, 90s. Remember Pogs? Elf Pogs. Remember Elf? He's back in Pog form. You traded my soul for Pogs. Pogs and gravy boats. Baggy. Jinko jeans mm -hmm. that are like 40 inches long. And just Mom like, is wearing a denim jumper. You dust. You have a little sister that's obsessed with Backstreet Boys. You re he really wants Goldeneye. Mm -hmm. Like violent video games, you'll turn into a school shooter. And then he gets the violent video game and then he accidentally shoots up his school. Because that was very 90s. <laughs> very accidentally shoots up his school. School shootings. <laughs> school shootings are timeless. But I feel like they're a very late 90s thing when they like launch. It's like the OG. <laughs> the launch. The launch of, of school yeah. shootings was late 90s. And they haven't rebranded, it's just... Arkansas invented it. The new revival of it. UT Austin tried real hard in the 50s. And that's why you go to the University of Oklahoma, kids. Not as many school shootings in Oklahoma? No. You're, by the time I edit this, it's gonna have happened, probably. And you spoke it into existence. Yeah, that's what's happening right now. <laughs> I'm a pacifist, I don't own any weapons. <laughs> So Gene Shepard, who's the narrator of A Christmas Story, he was a radio personality. There's been like 10 adaptations of stuff he's written about like the Parker family. A Christmas Story wasn't even the first one. It felt very discount David Sedaris. Mm. Okay. That's a good descriptor. So I feel like the, the three sequels we watched, we didn't watch the made for TV ones. These are the like, the good sequels. <laughs> Like there's a bunch of like yeah. These what, are, like, what is canon and what is not canon? Mm. Wow. Well, in the Christmas Story universe, the Christmas Story two is not canon. Nuts to your tubes! Come on. So I feel like the three sequels we watched embody like every kind of sequel. Yeah. So like my summer story is the like we want more of that. So let's go back to the source material and find another book he wrote and adapt that. Oh, there must have been four hundred bumpuses. I don't know why, but parts in your hair make you seem very intelligent. Oh. A Christmas Story 2 is the like, no, let's just remake the original basically, but it's goofier and slapstick. It's not again. And real bad. Mm -hmm. And then the just released A Christmas Story Christmas mm -hmm. is the nostalgia bait. It's been 40 years, mm -hmm. we're gonna sort of remake, but sort of a sequel. Right, honey, are you sure you should be writing a sequel? I mean, the first thing they're gonna ask when it sells is, what's next? It's the Top Gun Maverick, it's mm -hmm. the Tron Legacy. Legacy sequels. Legacy mm -hmm. sequels. So we've got every kind of sequel. Mm -hmm. Which one's the best one? I thought Christmas Story Christmas was the best one, but the bar is low. Go Christmas Story Christmas. My Summer Story, and then A Christmas Story 2 is, is way at the bottom. down there. It's I bad. agree with that. So you don't really care for the original? Where do you, how do you, how do you feel about the original? I don't know, it's like boomer shit. 
I, I honestly enjoy it. I, I don't really? know if it's a, like, because I watched, I don't know that I watched it as like a little kid. I know my mom was obsessed with it. And so when they were doing those 24 hour marathons, it was just always on. That's the first time I watched it. It was like yeah. eighth grade. I was just like, I don't get this. Yeah. So part of me is like, all right, if we were to watch my summer story every 4th of July, would it be that good? No. You don't think so? I, kind of, I mean, it's not up to the same quality. It's not. It's well, not. the first one was very low quality. It was like very yeah, look, soap a opera budget. filter. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look good. It looks better than my summer story. But is though. it supposed to be? It, was that an intentional choice to make it soap opera-y? I mean, yeah. The director, Bob Clark, he also directed Porky's. His filmography is great. It's like Porky's, Porky's 2, A Christmas Story, Rhinestone. Sylvester Stallone becomes a country music singer. That's the same director? Yeah. Also, Baby Geniuses. Baby Geniuses Ooh. 2. He also made a, like, slasher movie in the 70s. Hmm. There's a fan theory that, what's the little brother's name? Randy? Mm -hmm. That Randy, in A Christmas Story, grows up to become the serial killer in Bob Clark's earlier slasher film. I think A Christmas Story Christmas destroys that. Depends on what's canonical. I always thought the setting was Cleveland. Right. Is it Indianapolis? I think like a distant Chicago burb. Like in Gary, Indiana. Yeah, Northwest Indiana Holman, city. Indiana. I was but they Cleveland. filmed it in Cleveland. Oh. The house is And then the is house is Cleveland. on Cleveland Street. Okay. I read the, when they were making A Christmas Story, they went to like location scout home in Indiana. And they're like, this is awful. Like there's no like charming downtown. Broken Dead down. Dead steel town. Yeah. yeah. So we're not big fans of the original. I'm kind of, I kind of am. I wouldn't say I'm a fan, but like I enjoy it. It so makes so. me feel claustrophobic every time I watch it. Okay. I feel... Are you phobic of claws? A little tight. Ah, tight. It says it's tight back there. I couldn't have like said it like that, but what it is does, that what is that? I don't know. It's just it's like so small. You just feel cramped, like everyone's in coats and you just, Randy's oh like- like a, you're a little kid feeling? Is that an intentional Bob Clark choice? It just, everything feels cramped and like, there's, you have to like- Yeah. It's like you're a little kid and all these giants are around you. Why is the original better than the sequels? I think the, the others are just like doing the same. They're just not original. I've seen this before. It's yeah, it should have, like, I liked where A Summer Story was going because it took it in from Christmas. We've done our Christmas nostalgia. This is me as an adult looking back at summertime. It reminds me of the 4th of July. Halloween. That should Other been the childhood yeah. milestones. This is me that. looking back at Martin Luther King Jr. Day. But you'd have to pick your state because not all states celebrate that. Yeah. Or the Sandlot. Just watch the Sandlot for your summer story. Well, yeah. So, yeah. So, that's the other thing is, like, the summer childhood nostalgia movies. There's a lot there of There are a lot of them. Sandlot and uh, what's the one with the bee sting? My Girl. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> I would say the magic of the first movie is all in Gene Shepard. His narration. It's just so, like, goddamn literary. Like, his descriptions of things are yeah. great. Like, a lot of the... It's like, oh, kids do a dumb thing, but the, like the way he describes it. Randy lay there like a slug. It was his only defense. It's just so good. Yeah, that is good. I have but some, I have does some that break down. the rule of movies of showing and not telling? It's not a rule. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Quote, in the heat of battle, my father wove a tapestry of obscenities that as far as we know is still hanging in space over Lake Michigan. You know, there's an old saying in the Midwest, never stand between an Indiana housewife and something free. It's like, this is a radio personality yeah. guy who knows how to like deliver that line, how to say, how to write it. Yeah, that's great. Some men are Baptists, others Catholics. My father was an Oldsmobile man. This is so good. Oh. It's okay. So the Bumpuses were playing another one of their classics. It sounded like a chorus of toad frogs trying to mate with an accordion. The perspective of a kid looking up parents and the parents think they're getting away with stuff that the kids don't notice but they are noticing where on earth do you boys pick up language like that son of a bitch oh you didn't learn that from me mm -hmm. that's a universal truth i think the but little I, brother that's obnoxious as shit i do love how two, it was, i'm surrounded by little brothers yeah but it was like youngest of two youngest of three it's a very little brother oldest energy. Oldest. I'm an Very oldest. Very oldest energy. Oldest daughter, yeah. Boss bitch energy. Shazam! I Sorry. Think, I think Christmas Story <laughs> has a Simpsons vibe of like sure. what, seasons one to three. 
Like you could see like Homer, Bart and Ralph. Hello? Is Junior here? Junior Kissel? No, I'm sorry, ma'am. There's no one here named Junior. Good job! You're great! Oh, fudge. Can we come up with another curse? Oh, sh shipping label. Oh. Mother... F Fanny. That's still oh, bad. That's, that's still bad, especially in English. She's a cute... You changed the vowel sound, though. Yeah. You gotta keep the vowel sound. I feel like that's the worst word now. The C Again, word. Again, yeah. unless you're in England. Then unless you're in like, England, okay. and okay. for some reason... You're a continue. continuing source of inspiration. What would your Red Rider BB gun you wanted so bad? N64 and then a CD player. It was like aerodynamic, oh. had a tape player, and then you could program it to play like track one, then track then three, five. and then you could record onto a tape. Oh, so you made your own mix This was a mixed tape sure. yeah. engineering station. Kids these days. Yeah. <sighs> this is kind of embarrassing. American Girl dolls. <gasps> no way. And accessories. Shut up. Are you surprised by this? Yes. That I was an American Girl doll bitch? I'm learning this for the first time. Really? Yeah. I had Kirsten. <laughs> What's so funny? Did she own slaves? No, she's a like Swedish immigrant oh, in, okay, the okay. Eight, in like Minnesota. Which one owned slaves? Uh, Felicity. Felicity. Was there a Samantha? There was a Samantha. Okay, I feel gilded like it's age. like- Gilded age, she was like a gilded okay. age. I feel like it's like kind the Sex and the City, like what? What American Girl doll? Yes, there Miranda. are, there which, are so which, many like- Which Sex and the City girl are you? Yeah. I think I'm a Miranda. Are you Miranda? I, I don't like, watch Sex and the like City I feel like she's a Miranda. What, what am I? Definitely not a Charlotte. Am I Carrie? I don't think you're some, I don't think you're a Samantha Am I the main character? <laughs> the main character? It's not so much she's the main character, it's that she's the one who, I learned a lesson and I'm gonna tell everyone this oh, I lesson do. I You were a blogger. And I, I do end the day learning a lesson. Okay, I'll What am I? Uh, I think you want to be a Samantha. Oh, I'm 100% a Samantha. <laughs> Is that the redhead? <laughs> no. No, that no. Amanda's the redhead. Samantha's the, like, the slutty, slutty one. one. I'm the slutty one. Okay. Yeah, we went um, together for 12 years. Super, super slutty over here. You're just realizing he's a slut. Wow. <laughs> just get him on his lap and get him off. Welcome to family therapy. Uh, my Chris, my Red Rider BB gun. One is the Technodrome. What? The turtles are assaulting the Technodrome. Inside are the Foot Clan Prep and Storage Chamber. Krang's Laboratory, huh? Turtles? Oh, they've been spotted. Now they'll have to watch out for the ice spy radar. That hit news pit. The spike back door. Turtle soup time. Oh no, an ooze scanner, a brain scrambler, and mutant manacles. Can Leonardo rescue them? Sure hope so. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. From Playmate. And it came in about a thousand pieces. And I remember at Christmas when I was about six of my dad saying, going, oh, God, <laughs> cramming these plastic bits together. He was so mad. So that's one I can remember. <laughs> oh, I can, I can hear oh, it. Oh yeah. Homer Simpson. My family is the Simpsons. I'm, I'm Maggie, Maggie though. Oh. So that's sad, but my brother and sister, a hundred thousand percent fit Bart, Lisa. I remember probably like sixth or seventh grade. I really wanted a 3D FX voodoo. We have in our possession a chip. A chip that could revolutionize medicine as we know it. This chip could help us heal across continents. We could touch more lives and give us all more time to cherish the journey's truest rewards. But then we thought, hey, let's use it for games. Three D effects, PC accelerators, so powerful it's kind of ridiculous. You know, that game's a little violent for my taste. How did you find out about it before the internet existed? Is this how you came out to your family as a nerd? <laughs> uh, I mean, both of my older siblings were in Science Olympiad. So oh, like, okay, okay. You know, it's just kind of expected. so it's in the genes. It's an affirming family. They were both okay, nerd yeah. affirming, and they were both valid. Well, good, good for you. <laughs> it's interesting that you went with you wanted the bad guys lair. Do you have any childhood stories that would go into a Christmas story 
short story. I don't recall if it was Thanksgiving or Christmas. She already knows where I'm going with this. Okay. I remember this was in Idaho, so I was about four or five. Uh, I walk into the kitchen and I see my parents standing in the kitchen doing something. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's a dead baby. And they're like trying to get rid of the evidence. What was actually happening? Can you guess? They murdered someone? <laughs> this is what I thought. Five-year-old me walks in the kitchen and is like, my parents murdered a baby. Uh, I All I can think is maybe you saw them like take the turkey out of the oven. It was raw turkey. They're like taking the giblets out and stuff. And I was like, that's a, okay. my parents are like murdering a baby mm. right now. And you just like that's walked out of the and kitchen. I was just like, like, I'm going to walk away nope, and forget nope, about nope. that. And I did not connect the dots to that. Oh, that was the turkey. Until about a decade later, I was like, he grew up thinking his parents were baby murderers. <laughs> I had an uncle say to me, if I put pepper on my mashed potatoes, I'll put hair in my chest. And I remember thinking, I don't want to have a hairy chest. So I like didn't have pepper for on anything for <laughs> until I was like 25. It's funny that he went with pepper and not like whiskey, which I feel like is the- Well, we don't drink. I know, I know, but it's like the substitute for that is So if you don't drink, pepper? you got a you know, pepper. Yeah. Pepper is like it's spicy. the devil's lettuce. And I also I remember like some, he probably says something about onions too, and I didn't eat onions for the longest time because I thought, like, you thought he this really was all because it. he wanted yeah. to avoid a hairy chest. Yes. How hairy yeah. is your chest? It's yeah. not that hairy. Okay, ah, maybe it ah. works. Maybe we should compare. <laughs> Who do you think has a hairier chest? From that glimpse I just got, I think you. Do. It's just here. It is. It's like nowhere else. And it's, it's very, just. It's very light. It's just cleavage color. hair. That doesn't mm. differentiate us at all. How many hairs are we talking? Hundred, hundred max. What do you think? I mean, you're definitely under 100. Okay, you you maybe 20. Probably win. How hairy is your chest, Aaron? You wax. Not at all. You wax your aerial. All right, let's talk about my summer story, also known as "It Runs in the Family." This is my neighborhood. Come on, kid. I ain't got all day. The local bully. Want to play kill? And this is my house. <laughs> Welcome to hell! The world's goofiest brother. Randy! And the world's most disgusting neighbors. <laughs> this is war! Unbelievable. And you'll meet them all. When I tell you all about my summer story. Did you see the movie poster for this? It has like the, the house, house and like, a straight jacket. Yes. It felt like the production and like the marketing department like didn't talk to each other. Which is a Weird. common theme in films. There's a lot mm. of films that are like, yeah. wait, why do they market this as a comedy when it's a horror film or whatever? And it's like, well, because the marketing people are like, nobody <laughs> likes this crap. I gotta make it look good. <laughs> On HBO, Go Argo, yourself. the movie Argo is under comedies. Okay. Argo, fuck yourself. Somebody okay. fucked up the metadata. So, who plays a uh, little Ralphie? Kieran Culkin. From Secession. Uh, I have a list of While Culkins. his brother was n unattended, alone. Mm hmm Oh my God, Peter Billingsley. I love a Christmas story. So I have Nepotism. a list of Culkin children names. One of them is fake, Macaulay. That's one, that is one. I think that's about Kieran. That's yeah. another one. Rory. <laughs> Dakota. No, that's fake. Shorsha. Sorsha? Sorsha? That sounds Irish, yeah. Sorsha? Yeah, it's the S A O R I S E. S A O R I S E. Quinn. Christian. That's one. And Shane. Shane, no. I feel like Dakota is the sort of that sticks out. Is it just one that's wrong? One is wrong. Macaulay. Kieran. Rory. Dakota. Sorsha. Quinn. Christian. Shane. What's the fake one? Well, okay, now so I'm thinking it's Sorsha because you you didn't say it correctly, and so now your brain is he like, just doesn't know how to say Shush. that word. Well, they're yeah, all that famous Irish. Actress. Yeah, Shush. so I'm except thinking Dakota. Ex the Dakota is the one that sticks out to me. Dakota Stick feels too out. American, it's, not yeah. It's like Irish cowboy. Enough. Final answer, D Dakota. Dakota. <laughs> Incorrect. Shit. Is it Shane? Is that your final second answer? That's the wrong. Ah, uh, is it Sorsha? It is Sorsha. See? You Shorsha. tricked us. Like Are any of those girls? Dakota is a girl and she's uh. also dead. Oh, oh. Uh, fun fact. Quinn is a girl. Fun so. fact. So, my summer story. We've got Kieran and Randy is Christian. Mm -hmm. Christian Colgan. It's about fighting tops. 
Well, yep. The boys have their fighting tops. What's funny? Just when they're searching for a top, I was like, yes, same, same. I want to <laughs> hunt for a good What do you, what do you look top. for in a, in a top? What's the key ingredient I don't know, that makes but... it good? Do you have a new top? Ooh, a new top. You know, roses like, painted on it. Roses painted on. I, th I Paints one that I think is cute. Is there like a girth factor? Mm. The tops, <laughs> the tops in a summer story all seemed the same size. And it was a battle to the death. Only one top would walk away if tops could walk. That is. It but seems like the difference really was in does, color so, or decoration. So when you're trying to get the right top. It's hard when two tops are fighting each other. It I know, is, it's, two, it's a two top battle, yeah. you know, so. Typically, you don't have two tops. You have a top and. An yeah. under? A middle. An under. Yes. <laughs> a power under. A power under. <laughs> they, hold, they hold all the power in the relationship. Sure. Mm -hmm. Let's fight back door! Uh, Ralphie does a book report on. Oh, right. I didn't, I didn't know the, that book. Uh, I didn't get I that had to look it up. I had to look it up. Yeah. I forgot what, what it's called The Decameron. The Decameron. Did you do your book report? No. Now my father had some old books which he called his collection of fine literature. I found the book he kept hidden under his mattress. Boy, I made a machine to see the books I'm reading now. Oh no, you're writing a book report about a dirty book, stupid. It's the best, most interesting book I ever read. By Giovanni Boccaccio. That was an obscure reference. He truly. Uh, Boccaccio is the one who labeled Dante's Divine Comedy as being divine. That's what it says in Wikipedia. Was like, so it was it just going to be called the comedy. comedy first? So Dante is just like, I'm it's writing a, a book. It's called Commedia. There are a number of paintings. There's a Rubens and a Botticelli painting. This seems like maybe the Italian Canterbury Tales. Yes, that that does seem fairly. You accurate. know what? It reminds me of when I was on Wikipedia one time, and just for kicks and giggles, you Google penis, and there's a picture of a penis. So someone's anecdote at a party is like, I'm the penis oh, I on have, Wikipedia. I have way more to talk about on that. I have a whole comedy bit about the Wikipedia penis. Have you ever wondered how Wikipedia uses images without infringing on copyright? Me neither. Luckily, we live in a communist utopia where people volunteer time out of their busy lives to take photographs and upload them to Wikimedia so that Wikipedia articles can all be wonderfully and freely illustrated. Just kidding. They've been overwhelmed by user-submitted dick pics and they would like you all to please stop. It's hard to pin down an exact number of how many dick pics we're talking because there are categories and subcategories and sub-subcategories. For example, in the category human penis, there are 24 subcategories, one of which is human penis size by degrees of rigidity, which itself has five more subcategories, which I'm guessing are hard, fossilized, soft, soft serve, and chainy. Other subcategories include human penis facing left and human penis facing right. That way, you know, Wikipedia can remain fair and balanced. Human penis and art has seven subcategories, but if you follow those subs into their sub-subs and you just keep drilling down deeper into the penis categories, you eventually get to a category that is this specific. Are you ready? Paintings of the circumcision of Christ in Belgium. And if that's not the category you're looking for, they've also got Italy, Austria, and France. How about ultrasound images of fetal penis, which is not child porn because you can't get aroused by sonar unless you're a dolphin. Sex practices involving penis includes eight subcategories, one of which is male masturbation, obviously, which itself has eight more subcategories, including videos of male masturbation. You follow that one, and that has four more subcategories, one of which is videos of male masturbation by posture, which itself contains three more subcategories, which are videos of recumbent males masturbating, videos of sitting males masturbating, and videos of standing males masturbating. And that is how Wikipedia is able to illustrate how Congress works. This bouquet of fallacies has led to protracted battles as users go around nominating other dick pics for deletion, inserting their dick pics into Wikipedia articles, and fighting to make their penis the prototypical penis, like a modern Vitruvian man. While the penis wars rage on, there are many other Wikipedia articles which are quite lacking in the picture department. One such page is that of the black-crested macaque, which, unluckily for the macaque, is not a subcategory of penis, so there's not a lot of photos available. It's actually a type of monkey. Wikipedia uses this selfie that a black-crested macaque took 
of itself using a camera it borrowed from a photographer in Indonesia. That photographer, David Slater, claims that he owns that copyright and he requested Wikipedia take it down. Wikimedia responded by showing David their black crested macaque, saying that the image was taken by the macaque and therefore only the macaque can own the copyright. And since macaques aren't humans, they can't own copyrights, therefore it's in the public domain. After all, how can monkeys take a selfie if they don't have a self? Or do they? So what does it tell us about humans that the monkey took selfies of its face and not of its genitals? Slater claims that the photo belongs to him because he engineered the shot saying, quote, it was my artistry and idea to have them play with the camera and that he predicted they would do that. Which is how I wrote my Existentialist Kids book, Why is Waldo? Why is Wally? I don't know, this is Wally. Uh, I just left out my laptop and predicted with my artistry that my interns would write something in it. Wikimedia countered by saying that whoever presses the button is the one who owns the copyright. But I think Wikimedia might be opening a big, huge barrel of angry monkeys with this argument. If all it takes to own the copyright is pressing a button, then why can't a monkey press a button and hold a copyright? And if monkeys can own copyrights, then why can't they, I don't know, own humans as slaves? Slater claims that his career has been ruined and that he's lost over 10,000 pounds in royalties. There's a famous saying that a monkey at a typewriter, given enough time, can write the complete works of Shakespeare. I think that if your career is jeopardized by a monkey pressing a button, you maybe should have majored in something a little more useful than photography. And if macaques are capable of taking photos, then why didn't Anthony Weiner defend his dongle pic by saying that the photo wasn't taken by him, but rather that macaque did it? And if a picture is worth a thousand words, then it only takes 885 selfies for a monkey to contribute more to society than Shakespeare. Luckily, I happen to have a macaque named Romeo that I keep in my pants here, and I've been training him to take selfies. I'm coming for you, Shakespeare. The end is nigh. Nigh, I say. Because if monkeys are contributing to Wikipedia, then what's next? Monkeys commenting on YouTube videos? I mean, as soon as that happens, that's going to turn into a giant shit-flinging nightmare of... Help! The human's about to escape! Get your paws off me, you dirty ape! Anyway... Hey, Wikimedia and every woman next. on a dating app. Yes. Flaccid. Human penis facing left. Why Human do you penis know this? Why right. do you know this? Because I've looked through it. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, here's Botticelli. This dog is biting this lady's butt. For some oh, reason? it's like the White Lotus intro. The horse is chasing the woman, and he's going to slash her with his swords out, and the dogs caught her and just robed her. Getting Naked. bit. Yeah, and the butt. And then they interrupted a wedding. Is that the wife? Is that the wife? The no, brides wearing white is like a Victorian okay. thing. Three naked ladies. naked ladies lounging. Are they dressed? See, there's ladies a monkey. Lounging, four yeah. horses yeah, yeah, yeah. chomping, five cock He's just, rings. This shepherd is just kind of poking them with his... I was counting up, though. That's like, wrong. Boop, boop. Art has been the same since I deviated from just painting Bible stories. <laughs> I said it. I said it. I said it. <laughs> Here, rape my daughters instead. <laughs> he writes a uh, book story, so book story, a book report. Yeah. Uh, by the way, that's the same teacher. I want you to send a note home so that my father will beat the living bejesus out of me. Is sister. it? It's the same lady. She's oh. She looked. She's like the only. Yeah, her, her hair was different. Or yeah. Something. It's a decade later, but it's like sure. the only actor that returns. But it's supposed to be the like the same school year. I guess, yeah. So Ralphie is Kieran Culkin. There's another film from 2003 called It Runs in the Family, and Rory Culkin is in it. So there's two different Culkins and two different and runs in the family. And then you could make the case that Home Alone is about a dysfunctional family mm. with another you Culkin. You could make the case. Mm -hmm. You commented that one of the characters had Derek Carr eyes, the this Raiders quarterback. Ball. Oh, oh, the old Raiders. And he has the like, Yeah, he looks like he has eyeliner. Uh, there is an incident with a BB gun. Oh no, the gun went off. Ralph, don't shoot your eye out. In fact, exactly the opposite. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! 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 <laughs> you got shot, shot in the butt, which I can relate to. Yeah. You've been I shot in the butt with a BB gun? I sat on a pencil. 
and it got stuck in my butt. I think I've heard that story. Yeah. It's when, a good when, when story. When was this? Seventh grade. Who, who's holding the pencil? 1998? 2007. <laughs> oh, sure. Uh, and she put it in the pew, and after a hymn, I sat down and... Like wedged it in, in between. So the... it was like a straight 45 degree angle. Into where? Your cheek? Into my right butt cheek. Do you have a scar? Yeah. Do you want to show it to the camera? Yeah. She's advised to change it off. I related. He didn't know. shoot his eye out. He shoot his, shot his butt. Butt. Out? At, brown, brown eye. Brown eye is oh. where you're supposed to go with that. Come on. I already said We're this to you. We're not dirty. Sorry, we don't have a perverted mind. Day. Also, I wash my butthole, so it's not brown. There's no brown about it. You know what I'm saying? I bleach my... No, just, I don't. <laughs> don't put that in there. <laughs> Got it. Uh, I use Bactine on mine. Yeah. Bactine. Oh, my I big factory I use Windex on mine. You know, <laughs> keep it clear. Keep it all clear. Yeah. Right? Anyway. All right, folks. Time once again for that fun game, Mom's storyline in my summer story. Oh, what's this? Gravy boat. It's part of a set of grilling dinner with. You go to the movies once a week and you get a different dish. By the end of the summer, we'll be the proud owners of a 112 piece set of genuine artistic deluxe pearling dinnerware table service to the stars. With a celebrity on each With one? With a celebrity on each mm-hmm. one, which I'm well, like, okay. Like McDonald's always did yeah. the toys or whatever. They'd have like, it's sometimes it was meals glass. For mom. Yeah, yeah, totally. Gravy boats. For and, sure. And compote? Was mm-hmm. What's compote? Stewed and fruits. What's a compote? Stewed fruit. Oh, no, we already have gravy boats. I don't know, man. Uh-oh. A gravy boat snafu. Ladies, there has been a little mix-up. It was her version of free, the leg lamp. The leg lamp. So they mm-hmm. flipped it. I was gonna say it's it, it's more like the Oval Team. Really invested in this like promotional thing. Yeah. You know. It's all about capitalism. Like, they're all, yeah, they're all about like really, really wanting something because of advertising and then being disappointed. With yeah. That. It's so <laughs> fucking American. I mean, it's like the most That's American. That's timeless. That's classic. Truly. I've talked to the manufacturer. And they're on the trucks now. Your sunny, tough, big boy platters. One unknown housewife began to cackle insanely, driven bonkers by the endless flood of gravy boats. A dark shadow sliced through the hot beam of the spotlight. What was it? Bullseye. My mother had hit Doppler with a gravy boat. What a great idea. It was mm-hmm. the gravy boat heard around the world, which I thought was a very dangerous stunt. Like, was that just like a rubber? I, they must have been gravy rubber because b- I remember you could hear like, kush, 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 they're all cr- and the, but you see they're all like bouncing on the ground. They didn't break. Them I'm like, I was like, these are all rubber. But then I'm like, th- we have a society where it's acceptable for just women to throw gravy boats at someone. That is a violent society. <laughs> they could the have future killed- women want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they could have killed Otho. And are right now. <laughs> ERA? ERA? What did I say? NR- NRA. Oh. <laughs> the No Rights Amendment. The No E-R-A Rights ERA now. Mm-hmm. Glenn Shaddix. He's in Demolition Man. Of course Leopold Doppler should be struck with a gravy boat. In fact, he should be struck with as many gravy boats as they could muster. And so they did. Thus, the great days of Leopold Doppler passed into history. My mom became the first in our family to spend time in the pokey. We have the personal property tax inspection. Was that a thing? I don't... That strikes me as, like, really British. We have, like, oh, this isn't technically a room for tax purposes. That felt like they could have played it up as the kid not understanding what was going on, and so he felt like every single item was being taxed. I feel like they went too literal with it. The Indiana personal property tax was very, very personal. Footstools, footballs, fielders' mitts, egg beaters, dentures, everything. Take the radio, take take it down to the coal bin, bring up the old radio, bring up the old radio. This uh, lamp's new. I don't remember that that. cat. Is this how property tax worked? (laughs) Oh, smooth, Mom. You'll never suspect a thing. Do rock how much? That floor lamp isn't on last year's list. How much? I presume the nylon stockings are new. How much? 
end table made out of the hollowed out foot of an elephant. You see, the elephant died when the circus came through last year, and they were going to throw the foot out anyway. And the elephant. The elephant. Elephant foot in the room. We got an elephant foot that in the room. That felt forced. The elephant mm, in the room. Interesting. Like, uh, so we go to the World Expo. Which is not a thing. World's so that, Fair. That happened in 1939. Well, this and then the in 1918. This 18... was just a shitty local Indiana. Although Chicago did have the American Negro Exposition. So I'm like, did they go to that? Very progressive if they did. Tops too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got tops from Russia, from Japan, from Fiji, from Timbuktu, gypsy tops, you name it. I'm gonna ride, I'm gonna ride. You'll just get sick again. I'm gonna get sick, I'm gonna get sick, I'm gonna get sick. So yeah, dad pays off a Roma, G word. Individual. Yes, yeah, so he can get a special top. Get yourself a gypsy top. Why did the dad just buy it? The Tell experience of haggling. Yeah, he went and uh, found a special one. Because yeah. I remember the dad made one. Is that not that one? The tops are all running together for me. Because there's like, the gold top. Dad there's the rose some, like, top. In the yeah. basement or something. Sometimes you go through so many tops you don't remember them all. Sure. Oh, that's good. You've been chosen. I've been, You've chosen. been chosen. The dad's friends all come over and they're drinking and having a fish fry. One of the dad's friends says the the TV waves are causing mutant births. It feels like a very boomer thing. It's, it's like, like what? The five G. Yeah. We don't understand the technology, so it has to be dangerous and, and scary. sinful. And then Ralphie has to eat a liverwurst sandwich while gutting a fish. Fish that are taken out of muddy, rotten, lousy, stinking lakes have muddy, rotten, lousy, stinking guts. The old man brought out a two pound liverwurst sandwich. Oh, oh, oh boy. <sighs> Randy oh. wants to participate in the fishing, so what does he do? He caught the goldfish. He caught the goldfish. And he ate it. Geppetto. But he did! I don't want to go, I want to go! Oh, look at that, look at that! He Geppetto. caught the bay right through his gills! Poor Geppetto. I don't eat him! Randy! I said I want to eat him. They consulted a top expert. Her name is Judith Schulz, and she works at the Spinning Top Museum in Burlington, Wisconsin. There's a top museum in Wisconsin! That's Bur not very far from Where's Chicago! Burlington? I know! Where's Burlington, Wisconsin? I don't know. I looked up their website. They, they teach yo-yo classes. They have a yo-yo camp. Yo-yos and tops out. are different. They've branched out. It's not just well, tops. Yeah, you have they to have diversify in this economy. Did you hear about this guy who swallowed a yo-yo? Swallowed a yo-yo? Yeah, on a bed. I have a world record for you. I learned this from the Spinning Top Museum's website. The world record for the largest top. To count, it has to spin for at least 20 seconds. Okay. What is the weight? Weight is how it's measured. What is the weight of the world record top? Do you want a heavy top? Ooh, a new top. I feel like you wouldn't want a heavy top. Just... I don't know. It seems like uh, heavy is how it wins. Tell them how the weight is distributed. Is it in the bottom? All the weights in the needle? So the top has a bottom weight? A counterweight. <laughs> <laughs> ah, tight! He says it's tight back there. Are so we it's... doing pounds? Or... Pounds. It's in pounds. pounds. Okay. And it has to be spun by a person yanking a string. On a string. Right? Listen, jerk. When I tell you to come, you better come. Lug's top, known as Mariah was a natural killer with at least 50 or more confirmed kills through poison. And I had the antidote. Gold killer circled like a hawk on the wing. I'm gonna say five pounds. Five pounds. I'm gonna say 22. Both of you are far, far under. Under? Yes, go bigger. I mean, you can't- 69. 69 pounds. Nice. Um, There's another correct answer. 420. We're closer to 69 than 420. Okay. So I will give you one more guess. 85. 150. 132.6. I can't even pick up and and having like pulled on a rope. You mm -hmm. can't pick up 132 pounds? Probably not. I don't know. I bet you could. Try on, to pick Jeff up. Yeah. On, give, me, <laughs> give me a big hug and lift my feet off the ground. <laughs> on job applications, it's like, can you lift 50 pounds or more? I'm like, ooh. I don't know. Uh, what do we think of Charles Grodin, the dad? I do, don't remember him at all. Do they He's love... the dad in Beethoven. As we neared the center of the lake, I couldn't believe my eyes. Everybody was fishing in the same place because this is the deep hole. And everybody knows the deep hole is where the crappies are. In a 30-acre lake, the old man knew within a foot the spot. He'd actually caught a fish there just two years ago. Son of a bitch! I'm gonna call the cops. Yeah. 
Whoa. The old man had lost his mind. Big dicky. What happened next has become part of the lore and legend of Cleveland Street forever. <laughs> If Big Dicky could rip the porch right off the house, imagine what he could do to the old man's arms and legs. War bumpers! Do they love each other? Like The parents? Yeah. Did not see any chemistry. It felt like an arranged marriage. Like they are just there. Not um, like the chemistry we're seeing here. Yeah. They didn't have any chemistry in the first movie yeah. either. Right in the middle of our front room window! Oh! Uh, 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 the mom is so much younger than he is. Yes. That also sort of creeped me out. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, why are they? Why do they have such an age gap? Is he? Because he's not rich. Don't you give me that look! You're gonna get it. I think my summer story. You get the Gene Shepard narration. It really feels a lot like the original. It stuff. was so really much does. narration, though. There's a lot in the original. Is it more than the it original? It is way more. Die. <laughs> Yep, the old man had lost it completely. He thought he was Nero just before he torched Rome. Welcome to hell, Bumpus! The old man was annihilating the Bumpuses with classical music. What a brilliant stroke. It's three o'clock in the morning! But the old man is dancing a victory jig. Suddenly, we realized something was wrong. The Bumpuses didn't seem annoyed at all. In fact, they were enjoying themselves. It was my father's worst nightmare. The Bumpuses thought the old man was having a hootenanny, and they were invited. Hold on, Parker, we'll be right there. Ah! I feel like it's lacking an overarching goal. It doesn't have the drive of the original, where it's like, it's all leading up to Christmas. Christmas, I'm gonna get my present. I, there's A lot of people have a want, have a desire. It's not a big, you know, you got to defuse the bomb. Kind yeah, of it was a sl- yeah. slice of life. But the dad wanted the lamp. What did the dad want in the summer story? Yeah. To go to get the fish. After six crappyless weeks, people began at last to abandon the deep hole theory. One guy would move off to another area. At the first hint of a bite, all 17,000 boats would dash over. Every once in a while, a bumpus on his way to the outhouse would forget about the back porch. He wanted the top, and she wanted the gravy. She wanted the dishes. She wants her the gravy, gravy boat. boat. But see, like none of those are like they don't. They they're didn't not lead. Up. There's no, that's not Christmas. And there's no yeah. time. You know, there, there could have been like that. a thing that it was like Fourth of July. Something about you're there's counting a Fourth down. Of July event or yeah. you're counting down to going back to school. Like, yeah. You have to get something done. Okay. So it needed some kind of a yeah. time element. Yeah. You want a top or don't you? Come on, kid. I ain't got all day. Quick, I ain't got all day. All right, come on, what's it gonna be? I haven't got all day. A tootin' and a hootin', a bangin' and a clangin'. It was an army of morons. Go back, go back! And it was a battle to the death. With a headlong rush, they headed out of the circle. They toppled over the curb into the gutter, clicking, snarling, crazily out of control. And then, just like that, it was over. They were gone. Forever. A tie. A lousy tie. They're building a crapper! Anyway. It's Ash from Evil Dead slash Army of Darkness. It's a chainsaw hand. So I'm drinking a big beer collaboration, Vine Street mm-hmm. Brewing, and the Big Rip. Drinking a gay beer, will this turn me gay? I mm-hmm. think. That's how it works. That's how it works. I drank a beer when I was five and I drank gay. Is that what did it? One beer? Mm-hmm. Five? That's all it took. And diddled by a pastor. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Is that true? No. Okay. <laughs> so it's fun and I can leave it in. Not that That's you a fun were, fact. Not that you fact, remember. I can leave it in. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I was roofied with that beer. <laughs> and everybody knows the deep hole is where the crappies are. What a great idea. Shazam! What a brilliant stroke! What is, the, what is the most important point that you think we need to know? Well, I think you have to know, of course, which ones are uh, Thai Beanie Babies and which ones are counterfeit. Um, this is a thousand monkeys working at a thousand typewriters. Let's see. 
It was the best of times. It was the blurst of times. You stupid monkey. What's wrong with me? I think you're crazy. Want a second opinion? You're all so lazy. Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. I've been looking forward to jumping up and down on your face. <laughs> a Christmas story, too. You and me, we got a long, long way to go. Well, this dude has a thing about putting his tongue on things. Nuts to your tubes. Come on. Turds. <gasps> Turds. It could be goo daughters. <laughs> you wanna Google that? Find out? Is it good? I, don't, I, don't I do not wanna Google that. I know it doesn't feel like it ends, but that's because it all pays off in the sequel.